Bismillahirrahmanirrahim This video is about definition of differentiation in calculus Here is the definition of derivative The derivative of the function fx with respect to x is the function f'x given by f'x will be equal to limit h approaches to 0 fx plus h minus fx divide by h the process of computing the derivative is called differentiation or the first principle of differentiation or definition of differentiation. Now we look on how to solve the derivative by using definition of differentiation. Look at this example. Using the first principle of differentiation, find f'x if f(x) equal to x squared. So we need to find f prime x by using the first principle of differentiation. So we use formula f prime x will be equal to limit h approaches to 0 for the function f x plus h minus f x divided by h. So look at here, our function fx is x square. So fx plus h means we add h for each x on our function. So for our function x square, fx plus h will be equal to x plus h and then square because we have x square. So, x plus h is x plus h square. So, we substitute into our formula f prime x equal to limit h approach to 0. f x plus h for our function is x plus h square minus f x is equal to x square. Remember, substitute into formula fx plus h is x plus h square minus fx is x square and then divide by h. Remember, when we calculate limit, we will substitute the value of limit. Here, h is approaches to 0, so we substitute h equal to 0, so we will get x square minus x square is 0 over 0. So this one is indeterminate form. So we need to factorize. For this function, we need to expand x plus h square. Expand x plus h square, we get x square plus 2xh plus h square minus x square. And then divide by h. Then simplify our function, we can simplify x square minus x square. So the rest is 2xh plus h square over h. Then we can factorize h. So we have 2x plus h over h. Then we can cancel h, so the rest is two x plus h. After simplify, then we can try to substitute h equal to zero. So we will get two x plus h zero is equal to 2x. So we get our differentiation fmx for function x square is equal to 2x. Look at this example. By using the definition of differentiation, find f prime x if fx equal to 2x square minus 5x. So we will find f prime x by using formula limit h approaches to 0 fx plus h minus fx 
divide by h. So look at here our function fx is 2x squared minus 5x. So function fx plus h is equal to, we we'll look at x. We will add h for each x. So we have 2 and then make a bracket x plus h square minus 5 and then make a bracket x plus h. So we substitute in our formula limit h approaches to, to 0 fx plus h substitute 2x plus h square minus 5x plus h and then minus our function fx is 2x square minus 5x divide by h Then we can simplify our function. We can uh, expand x plus h square. So we have x square plus 2xh plus h square. And then expand 5x become negative 5x and minus 5h minus 2x square expand this one we have positive 5x divide by h then expand again 2x square here we expand we have positive 4xh plus 2h square and just write the rest function divide by h then we can simplify this function here we can subtract 2x square minus 2x square and negative 5x plus 5x The rest we have 4xh plus 2h square minus 5h divided by h. Then factorize h. So we have h 4x plus 2h minus 5 divided by then cancel h the rest is 4x plus 2h minus 5 after simplify then we can substitute h equal to 0 so we have 4x plus 2 substitute h equal to 0 minus 5 so we get our answer is 4x minus 5 look at this example use the definition of differentiation to determine f prime 2 if fx equal to square root x so first we will find f from x by using formula limit h approaches to 0 fx plus h minus fx divided by h. Look at our function fx is square root x. So for fx plus h will be equal to x plus h and square root. So substitute into our formula fx plus h substitute square root x plus h minus substitute fx 
a square x divide by h because our function here involves radicals or square root so we need to multiply by their conjugate so we will multiply by conjugate for square root is square root x plus h plus square root x look here our function is negative so our conjugate becomes positive divide by the same function square root x plus h plus square root x then multiplying uh, our conjugate function multiplication so we get x plus h minus x divide by h and multiply by square root x plus h plus square root x then we can subtract x and x so the rest we have h over h square root x plus h plus square root x then cancel h and h so we have 1 over square root x plus h plus square root x after simplify then we can try to substitute h equal to 0 so we have 1 over square root x plus 0 plus square root x so that we have 1 over 2 square root x so we get our function f from x here and then we need to find f prime 2 so to find f prime 2 we just substitute x equal to 2 so we get 1 over 2 square root 2 next example find f prime x if f x equal to 7 x minus 1 over square root x by using the first principle of differentiation so we will find f prime x by using formula limit h approaches to 0 f x plus h minus f x divided by h for this question, we can solve for function 7x first. We find f prime x for 7x. So substitute into formula limit h approaches to 0, fx plus h. So we have 7x plus h minus fx is 7x divided by h then expand 7x plus 7h minus 7x divide by h then subtract 7x and 7x the rest is 7h over h then cancel h so we get f from x equal to 7. Next, we find f from x for function 1 over square root x. So we find f from x by using formula limit h approaches to 0 fx plus h minus fx divided by h. So we substitute for fx plus h 1 over square root x plus h minus our fx is 1 over square root x divide by h first we simplify our function cross multiply this function 
So we have square root x minus square root x plus h divided by square root x plus h multiplied by square root x. And also we can multiply at the denominator. Because our function involves radicals of square root, so we need to multiply by their conjugate. So now our function multiplied by their conjugate is square root x plus square root x plus h. Divide by the same function square root x plus square root x plus h. Then expand, multiply their conjugate. So we have x minus x plus h. Divide by, for function in the denominator, we just write down, no need to uh, simplify. So we have square root x plus h multiplied by square root x. And multiply by square root x plus square root x plus h. Then we can simplify, subtract x and x. So the rest is negative h over h multiplied by square root x plus h multiply by square root x multiply by square root x plus square root x plus h. Then cancel h. So now we have negative 1 over square root x plus h multiplied by square root x multiplied by square root x plus square root x plus h. Alright, just now we have simplified our function. Then we can try to substitute h equal to 0. So we have negative 1 over square root x plus h is 0. So we have square root x multiplied by square root x. And then multiply by square root x plus square root x plus h is 0, so we have square root x. Simplify, we have negative 1 over square root x multiplied by square root x is x, and square root x plus square root x is 2 square root x. So, this one we get negative 1 over 2 square root x power 3. Alright, now we get our f prime x combined with the first answer is 7. 7 x and minus for this answer is negative 1 over 2 square root x power 3. So we get uh, f prime x is equal to 7x plus 1 over 2 square root x power 3.